um, people talking about the source leak, all that stuff. I, I know a little bit about it, barely anything, so I don't really know what to say about it. Alright, so Mario Maker 3.0, um, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna go straight into make, and it would be really nice to be able to use my, um, my stylus while doing this instead, but, um, I'm gonna try to make a world map real quick. I haven't made a map in this in a while, and, um, uh, I don't even know how to use this anymore, chat. Oh god. Game style, course theme, water level, so chat. World map is in a different area. World maker, there we go. <clears throat> world bot, I'll play some worlds tonight too. So with this new update, you can make your own super worlds, which is a collection of up to eight individual worlds. Uh, each individual world needs a way to get from the start to the goal, which is the castle. I already did that for you here. You'll need to set a course in the castle spot for each world to work. Okay. This is the best update this game could have gotten. You can upload a saved super world to course world. You can only have one super world uploaded at a time, but it can contain up to eight worlds. So you can make a full Mario game. I would not make a full Mario game, but I would make a, a one world. I'm gonna start from scratch. Oh my god, what was that? Why was there weird noises? Mario Maker! Mario Maker! Mario Maker! Let's see some of the themes. Oh, these look really nice. Here, before we do some of the themes, I'm gonna start with ground. And I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and just see what one can do in this here thing, in this here game. So you've got, um... Am I missing something? Is there not a way to just kind of have a thing go down? Oh, rotate. Oh, my dumbass. Okay. Rotate. Yeah, rotate. Rotate! Sorry about that. Very, um, difficult function. There we go, and then it snaps. That's cool. But we need, uh, Koopa's castle to be... Up, like, up here on a, on a cliff. But, but we want that cliff to be like this. I see. Well, it's, it's a really simple, like, version of the, uh, map maker. So let me put that there for now. Uh, um, I'll get faster at this as, as, you know, as I figure it out, but... Oh, that's not good. Where's the undo dog? Undo dog, right, 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 right. Can I... Can I not have a cliff? Can, can the cliff only do this? Hold down the tiles to change what they look like. Oh, nice. Paths that aren't connected will not show. So, if I were to... Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, so, um... Why is that bridge underwater? What's going on? You, you need to connect them. Okay, we got a bonus toad house here. Whoa. 
big... Use brain. Use... Use brain, says chat. But... I'm sorry, what is brain? That's brain. It's simple. It works and it does what it needs to do. It's, it's really, um... Yeah. Yeah, I like it. My terrible level. <laughs> Some of my levels that I've not finished. Um, let's see. Make the music stop? No. No, this is this is all for you, chat. Oh, Potato was a level I never finished. Potato- I never finished Bully Hunters. I- there's... a lot of unfinished business here in this game, sadly. I might make a couple of smaller maps now that I have, uh, World Maker. Like, no checkpoints. Just straight through, one and done, really... Um... Really basic levels. So we'll do pipe dreams, even though that's not an easy level necessarily. Um, actually, the bonus level should be firework factory because that's just, you know, whatever. Um, you can't make locked doors, can you? Like, locks and stuff, like in Mario 3. No. I'd need to make a Bowser level, maybe I'll do that. These are the only levels I have finished. And then I need one Bowser level. Lives? 30? Son. We- we give Mario five lives in this house. Why does he have so little levels? I spent mostly my time playing levels. My levels end up getting, like, way too big. That's the problem. I make... ...levels with, like, two... ...checkpoints and... ...it's just... ...it's nutty. Like, I go- I go too... ...um, ambitious, and then I don't finish levels. Or it'll take me, like, 15 hours to finish one. Cool. Oh man, this is awesome. A lot of themes you Yeah, you'd make a full-ass Mario game. Oh, this is fucking great. Someone's gonna remake Mario 3. Change the level icons, too. Wait, 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 what? Oh, shit. I love this. I love- they did such a fucking good job with this. You can even make, like, a little Koopa level so you can just fight a Koopa. The, uh, you can make Ghost House, let's see. Oh, and there's three different types of- wait, there's a... Baseball bonus level? Really? Man, they did not have to... Oh, look, at there's a frog! What is the frog doing? An undo dog. Catch and win. Oh, shit. Brand new bonus game, chat. Oh, my God. What is that? 
get that thing out of here. Yeah, that was him. It was Long Mario. Pop and win. So this one's just like, um, guaranteed one-ups. Cool new music. Nice match and win. This is the classic Mario 3 one. Ah. Uh, so, I, yeah, you can, like, it seems like... <laughs> it, it doesn't... It doesn't even live for a minute. Um, that's so fucking cool, chat. That you have three different types of minigames now, too. Because, um... You know, if you want to give free one-ups, just give them this one. If you want it to be a little bit more difficult, choose a different one. That's so fucking awesome. Vinny, look at the dog's face. I'm looking. Okay, chat. I'm gonna make some stuff now. I'm gonna make very small levels. Leave Mario idling for funny. Okay, let's see. Let's see the funnies. <laughs> what is that? Chat, what is that? What is he doing? Imagine going to work at Nintendo, and then 30 years after Mario World comes out, you get to edit the Mario sprite doing the Mario directly at the screen. That'd be a dream come true. Eat the Mario! He's doing another one. I don't like his threatening smug aura. <laughs> Emote potential? We, we gotta- we gotta get it. A little spin. That one, yeah, the one that just occurred, that seems like the one with the most emote potential. I don't know what the emote is, like, threatening Mario dance? Ready to catch, um, in, in a baseball game? You want me to say it? Speed! God. Alright, chat, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna make some levels. And I'm gonna make quick levels, really quick ones. I'm gonna do, um... I'm gonna do, like, um, a Hammer Brothers encounter. I'm gonna start with that. I didn't wanna undo. That's okay, don't worry about it. Horse Maker. I fucking... I really was so happy. I mean, many of you have seen my reaction. Many of you saw exactly how excited I was about this update, but... Nintendo fucking nailed it with this one. I thought for sure we were gonna have to wait for Mario Maker 3. Three two, one. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a, um, a simple Mario... ...three course, and I'm gonna check out one of the new power-ups. And I'm gonna have this be like, in Mario 3 you could fight... ...the, uh, Hammer Brothers. They would show up on the map, and you would fight them. I'm gonna make that. But I'm gonna use the new power-up.
So it's gonna be a frog fight. To remember how to do this, but um, what was the what was the wheel? Okay, that's the zoom. What was the, the the wheel for the items? Up and then Y. Okay, cool. So we'll make we'll make some of that. You know, the usual start to a Mario level. And then um we have to figure out how to do this, because this is gonna be a very, very small level. Um I wanna do mostly wait, water. That has to be a separate thing, right? I can't just add a water thing here. The non-touchscreen interface is torture, said someone. It's, it's, um, it's doable. It's doable, but it's not my preference. It's really good with a conductive stylus. I want that water level, like, way up. So, let's see. We can even do some some of that too, which also means that we now have to row. Chat, is there a... Do I have to fill this whole thing in? I, I guess copy-paste, right? Again, so much easier with the stylus on the touchscreen, but, you know, if this isn't the Wii U. I've said it before, that's the one thing about, uh, about the Wii U that I miss. And I don't miss streaming from the Wii U because it was a huge pain in the ass, but... It really only worked well for Mario Maker. <laughs> the Wii U was a dedicated Mario Maker platform. No, it was, it was good for other things, too, but I mean, like, the, the main, like, I, I think the thing that the Wii U did best was Mario Maker. Frog. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this, like, what kind of... What kind of battle do we want to do? Maybe a big Koopa? Very simple. Frog, I, I have to figure out what the frog can do that isn't Mario 3. Like, is there anything the frog can do that's different than Mario 3? Is my main... ...wonder. I forgot from the video. I can run on water. Well, I need the frog to be able to defeat, like, large Koopas. Run on water and jump higher. Imagine missing the frog outfit. Vinny, don't forget the Wii U also had Smash. No, I'm not saying the Wii U didn't have any games. I'm saying that the touchscreen was really good for specific things like Mario Maker 2. You must gain P-Speed. 
Okay, well, that hammer is very slow. The hammer lad. Do you remember in Mario 3, there would be pipes that you couldn't get by without the frog outfit? Look at these poopalings. Iggy. Like, you needed, um, the pipe would, would shoot air. It would, like, burst, uh, air. Put a key door and make the water level fluctuate. Okay, I'm beginning to think this is no longer a level about, um, destroying... Hoopa man. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna do a different level for that. Just do a very simple underwater level. And I'm gonna keep it to one screen only. Like, use tornado clouds. I don't think that'll work. Doesn't have to be that short. Well, I wanna be able to make a couple levels, like, very quickly just so I can see the world map in action. Like, I'm also gonna make a very fast, um, uh, kill a, a fucking large Koopa, and then I'm gonna do an Iggy battle. So... Let's see, where's the Tornadoes? There we go, Twister. Yeah, it's not gonna work. One of the things that, um, you needed the frog suit for in Mario 3 was to get past some of these pipes. Put it underneath the pipe. Then he try it. No. Yeah, I just need to figure out how to do better underwater stuff, and then, then we can make out how to do this. Hey. Chat, I see what you did there, that's good. When I said the sentence, you liked the sentence, and I said the thing, and it made you say another thing. That's, that's good. So, let's see, what other obstacles? Maybe, I have an idea for the tornado. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Where you absolutely need the frog to get through, but I don't think that's, I don't think it's gonna work. Put two twisters here, right? Yeah, cause they stop. No, they don't. No, this, this'll work. This'll actually work, yeah. That'll work. Um, it has to be done in a slightly different way, but that's cool. Alright, you, you go there. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's see how this works with the frog suit. Oh god, those frog suits bounce around. Oh shit, <laughs> no! Oh, Nintendo, no, patch this! Someone in chat said, remove one. I'll try removing one, yeah, let's see. Let's go. 
frog, please. Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah, if you remove one, that's not too bad. Um The trick is this. Yeah, it seems like you're fast enough with the frog, but not as regular Mario, so you can still do the, the restriction where frog suit is required. As long as it doesn't lead to- yeah, that works. That works. You can still get stuck, but you're fast. As frog, you're very fast. So you can make it through. Um... What other item would be good for here? Let's throw... A couple. Here's a question I have now. Can I get through there as Frog Mario? Nope. You need two. Two space. Okay, so um, we need more... Like, I don't even usually like swimming levels, but the frog suit makes it way more enticing. So, I'm gonna do... What underwater options even are there, really? Just fish? Couple, couple shitty fish? Bloopers. Do you remember the uh, things that would electrocute you? In Mario 3? Those were fun. Goombas have special behavior underwater. Now, this isn't going to be the first level. I don't know what level this is going to be, but... Put some fishies down. I already have a level like this, too, using the pipe theme, but I didn't do too much underwater, I don't think. Um, clear condition, timer, 300. Let me do a thing now. How do I make the level bigger? I don't remember. What button is that, chat? <laughs> Oh, right, I see it. Boy, I don't play this game for this long and... Suddenly it's all gone. Okay, we, we can't have the exit underwater. Oh, I see the exit is a little weird. No, you can. I don't want- I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's the fast button. Okay, so my modern art over here is- is all well and good, but we need something better than that. I also want to do a puzzle- I say puzzle, but I want to do something where Mario has to run across the water as Frog, so we're gonna do that now. Um, so it needs P-Power. I think, um, Chad, I'm going for modern art, really, more than anything. I want to put my level in the MoMA. Oh man, I like that piece. Uh, 
There it is. The cool thing about the pipe levels is you can make all kinds of weird designs and it still almost looks okay. Note I say almost, but... Yeah, that, that looks... that's fine. I want more cool doodads. I kind of wish doodads weren't random and you could place them at your own discretion. Copy, pick them up if you want. Okay. Cool. Forgot about that. Man, look at that detail. Ah, oh, there's so much detail. I don't even know. Those those are those are Deedle Moors. The problem is with the varying water level, there's a chance that it, this isn't going to go anywhere near the way I want it to go. But we have to test it out to find out. So... Uh, so P power, right chat? to hold it. Oh, P power, like in, oh, the P. Oh, oh, like Mario 3 P. Oh, God. I get it. I get it. So you need to hold the P to use the P. Also, I'm gonna get rid of the variable water level. That's not gonna help out what, what I have in mind. So we're just gonna place it here and keep it here. That's fine. That's fine. And now, here's a Ross raid. And the people... The good people over at Ross's channel are gonna see how terrible I am and uncreative compared to Ross I am. I'm- I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That frog looks angry when Mario runs. So I think what I'm going to do here is just... I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to... keep this an optional thing. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it optional, so that way people can... We'll, we'll do two paths, um, above water, below water, and um, you can go up, you can go down, whatever you, you think you can manage. Maybe, chat, there could be a couple obstacles. Is there anything else that I can use here that might fit the theme and also walk on water? 
I wonder. Ross has a new level. I'll have to check that out. Vinny, do like spikes? Yeah, I'll check out Ross's level after... After, uh... I finish making whatever it is I'm making. Well, these spike traps also work underwater. I can- I can do a very Mario 3 style underwater section. You know, with blooper. Complete with bloop. And also, um... These things. It was a scrolling level in Mario 3, to be fair, but... Let's see how this works out. That'll do. And then up here, I'm going to put um, some coins. Yeah, we're going to load this up with Deedlemores, don't worry. Deedlemores. Thank you, Dream, for giving me more terrible words that make no sense. If you lose your frog suit, though, I want you to be able to get a new one. Um... So I'm gonna throw another frog suit in one of these blocks. Right over here. What other ground options do I have? I have... oh, I've got, um... Mushroom and stuff. Bridge. We could do a bridge. Deedlemores, you know. <laughs> Just adding some details, that's all. Now, if only there was something that would suck down. That way Mario... Like in Mario 1, where you go over, like, the areas, and Mario would get sucked down. Place blowers above it? What do you mean blowers? What do you mean blowers? Push from above. Can Frog Mario run on poison? Good question. Twisters? Well, they can't- Twisters don't- You know, you can't have them go upside down. You can do- wait, 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 wait. Chat, you can't do twisters upside down. We need the pipe. What pipe? There might not be a way to do this. You said it was going to be simple. Why? Well, yeah, it's a little. It's simpler. We're almost done with the level, kind of. Maybe, maybe not. Put a secret underneath the blowers. We don't have blowers. <laughs> there are no blower. Blo bl there, there are none of them.
going to also leave this op a little bit more open. So Frog... Super Frogmar can get through there if needs be. Frog Goomba. What happens when Goomba underwater happens? Oh. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. They're, they're cool. Goombas over here, yeah, they don't they don't need to get out. They can just chill here, you know. Put some Goomba. I don't know what the fuck this monstrosity is that I created before. Let's see if I can get a little something better out of this. I say as I create a new monstrosity. The symmetrics of which are non-existent. Look at that. Look at all that. That that's that's good, because now we have detail that I didn't even need to add. That's that's all just there now. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Outstanding. So let's uh, throw in. Let's throw in a pipe. Pipe. Yeah, this, the fact that this level is not even close to symmetrical is, is driving me a little crazy, but that's also completely my own fault. So, I will live with it. Um, that was, you know, my goal when I said I was going to make a quick level was, was something like this, so... No point complaining now, right? up here. I am having fun making the level. I, I never really stopped having fun making Mario Maker levels. This is so many other games came out that made it, like, difficult. It's like, shit, I just want to play Mario Maker now. Um, but hey, I'm almost done with Final Fantasy VII, and then Trials of Mana starts up. Oh boy. This to look like that. that's yeah that's better. I think the pipes that go like this look a little bit better. Okay, so that covers that. Okay, so this area is just about done. This this is just gonna be Goomba area with coins. Uh Maybe we can try a semi-solid platform and see if it looks like shit. Doesn't look amazing.
All right, let's start from the beginning and see what happens. Okay, easy. The speed is just wonderful. Maybe we'll put an invisible block up there. Uh-oh. Boy, if you lose the frog... Alright, that's a bit of a problem. These Goombas crowd together. We don't want those. We'll, we'll just do fish. Because at least they swim the fuck away. Um... Let's continue. Oh, I might have another thing to do with this. I do. I do, I do. I have an idea. I have an idea. Chat. So, this is my idea. P-block, right? Gotta hit the P-block. Otherwise, how are you gonna get this stuff? coin. Make more spikes on top of the water. Uh... I might do a fish that jumps out instead. Okay, now that's a little too... You're really asking for quite a bit there. Let's, let's see. Yeah, lives are going to be very limited in my world, so... The reaction time has to be pretty good for that. Let me move this motherfucker over by two. I'm not trying to make CBT world chat. I'm trying to make just like regular Mario 3 style levels. There we go. Oh, and you might miss it and then you can't get back to it. So if you're quick enough, you can drop that. And then get the kerns. Cool. Okay, these fish are a little bit... Fish are a little bit, um, annoying, so I'm just gonna take away their wings. Let's see what this segment is like. You can still stomp on the Goombertons. That works. Okay. You have a lot of control over frog Mario, so I'm gonna try to just keep things a little bit more consistent. Like, you know, not too easy. Oh. Let's see. Um, and then there's the end of the level. Which I can't make go any higher, so fuck it. Underwater exit it is. So what now? What other weird stuff can you do underwater? Bumpers? No, I don't want to, like, give a boss fight here, or anything like that. Just... Just a couple obstacles. 
I might even do, just to be even more of a jerk, I might try some swinging claws. Just throw two of those down and see what happens. Bro, bro. Add fish to the ball zone. I'm not gonna start with fish in the ball zone, but I might... There's no need for these. I'm gonna get the player used to the ball zone, and then when the player is fully committed to the ball zone, there comes fish. Um, it's kind of also a little bit of a maze, because there's some areas that you might not be able to get through. Oh, fuck! So now I'm gonna try to funnel the player up. You must jump out of the water. If you're not Frog Mario, this is gonna kinda suck. Okay, I've changed my mind. This, this, this is not a... This is not something... We need to be doing. I'll just throw some fish, that'll be good enough. Because, you know, someone's gonna end up doing this without Frog Mario, and they're gonna be like, this level sucks. And they'll, they'll be right, so... Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, red and green fish. I don't remember the differences between them. Add some coins outside the water. Red moves back and forth. Green moves forward. Okay. One way you could do this is just jump over everything. I might put a couple turtles in the air. Yeah, let me give them some turtles. If you want to, like, listen, you can do it if you want. You can go up there if you want, but you're gonna have to deal with some Koopas. Are you a bad enough dude to handle, like, you the Kaizo speedrunner that you are? Are you the bad enough dude that can handle a couple of red and green Koopa Troopas? Guess we'll find out. They just fall. <laughs> right? Okay, they're... alright. I forgot about that. Okay, and then when, once you make it past all this... So, I just want to close this off a bit. Nice pipage. 
That's a lot of good pipage. Wow. I'm, I'm actually impressed by my pipage just now. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, now I, I would like for Mario to have to deal with one more thing. Just one more thing, not a boss necessarily, just one shitty enemy. I'm also going to place, just in case <clears throat> people lose their powers and stuff. You underestimate my power! Fire flower. So there's there's two frog costumes and a fire flower on this level. Did you make sure you can't frog jump to the PAL platform? You can. Froggy jumps here. Okay, let's see if that's enough for the P. Yep, that's good. Now, does the P make invisible stuff appear again? Remind me, chat. No? Invisible doors. Just the P door, right? <laughs> You could just zip zoom right through that. Um, one more Goomba. Too easy? One more Goomba. Okay, let me move this over by one. It's really easy to skip this whole level. Hmm. I mean, Mario 3 allows you to skip levels by going fast. This is nothing new. I'm- chat, I'm as good as the developers of the Mario Brothers series. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, I'm gonna be a huge jerk. And I'm going to... do this.
Which means you can still skip some of it. Right, you can get over here. <laughs> oh god, it's terrible. <laughs> I need to space these things out. They're awful. <laughs> They're so bad. Excuse me. Peace off. Test without frog suit? That's next. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna spread out these bumpers just a little bit more. Also, I don't love my coin designs. So I'm gonna fix those up a bit, too. Now I like them. Mario Maker 2 genius at work. Such a genius to make the, the things into pluses. That's amazing. How did I think of it? Wow. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Um, so I would like to also have it so that the frog suit doesn't get Because it's gonna, like, you know, people are gonna lose it. But maybe if they- if they lose it, it's okay. Like, let them lose it. It's fine. Right? No. Cool. We need some doodads. Pretty good. Could use a couple more. Um, watched The Lighthouse finally last night. With, um... My mods and stuff. And, uh, that movie is... That movie is amazing! But, goddamn, I had some weird fucking dreams last night. I was already in a, in a weird place, and then that movie just kinda like... Magnified it. But it was so worth it. What a good fucking movie. I can't believe- did Willem Dafoe not win an Oscar for that movie? How- how? How did Willem Dafoe not win an Oscar? Rob- Robert Pattinson, aka uh, Twilight Man, did a really good job too. He was incredible in it. But... 
I mean, the performances were incredible. Um, he sounded like like a young JFK, like his his accent. But Willem Dafoe like did this whole amazing thing. It, just a great movie. It'll stick with me for a long time. And also the Vavitch was oh the seagulls were amazing. Um, <laughs> the se you know it's a good movie when you can say the seagulls were amazing. Um, the Vavitch was one of my favorite movies last uh, two years ago. And this one ends up being one of my favorite movies this year. So, incredible. Even though it's a movie that came out last year, you know what I mean. Great direction, great sound design, great cinematography. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, that director is gonna... I don't know if he can top some of the stuff he's done, but that director has a, a career I will watch with great interest, as uh, a one Palpatine once said. He's working on a new Viking revenge movie? Of course he is! Uh, that doesn't feel necessary. I have an idea on a, on a way to mitigate that a little bit. I want to give another frog suit in case you lose your first one. I'm going to put it right here. All right, and you can still lose it. That would not be a difficult suit to lose. But, you know, you'll have some time to get it. You avoid the goombers. You definitely want a frog suit for this segment. And then here, if you want, you can get... Um, you know, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm going to put... A couple over here. So if you lose your frog suit, your consolation prize will be a fire flower. So you can at least deal with some of the enemies a little bit more easily. So I'm gonna try that out. See how that goes. Um, this section isn't too bad. With the fire flower, it's not too bad. And I'm not trying to make a difficult level. I really don't want to make anything too crazy. But this is... This is going to be like level two, or three. Where'd the... Where'd the squid go? This is too hard for a level two, even. It, it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a little difficult. For that, but um, I know how to fix that chat. I'm gonna fix that right up. You know how I'm gonna do it? Right there, done. We are veterans, it's not that hard. You're right, up too. Depends on the target audience. Um, just people to have a, a good time going through a Mario level, nothing crazy. Some of my other levels have some challenge. This, I don't need to be like that. This is probably the most difficult part. to save this. Um, I have to go through it all the way, right? Okay, let me let me see. Chat, what's up? Is this person's name?
yeah, I feel I feel pretty happy with this. As a frog suit level that's akin to something like Mario 3. I I have no real problems with this. Uh, I might need to name it. That's the most difficult part. Underwater adventure. Froggers. I'm gonna name it Froggers. Nah, like, that's totally Froggers, dude! Hog champ, frog, frog champ. No. Froggy chair. Oh my god. I'm gonna name it. Why is this so hard? Frog Yacht. I'm gonna play it from the beginning, I'm gonna do it without any power-ups. This is spicy. That's a little spicy for a beginner. It's not too bad. Again, spiciest part right here. I think most people will have a power up retained, but if not, you just you just wait a second. With the frog, it'll be more fun and easier. I think that's that's uh I'm fine with it. I think I'm fine with it. And I was able to make a level in an hour and not ruminate over it for, uh, another ten. So that's- that's good for me. I'll take it. So do I have to publish this level in order to, um... Put it in the world? Hang on a second, let me, um... Take a good picture of this level. Where, where's the action shot, chat? Where, where's the- where's the part that looks the coolest? Is it this? There aren't any. Alright, well you do better in an hour. Call it impossible. That's the name of the level. It's just now impossible. But I do have to do a, uh, like a clear. I have to clear it. No? You'd, okay, all right. I was told I don't have to upload, which is good because then I can edit it. Let me go back into the world maker for a second.
In order to upload the world, you will need to upload the level. Or upload the world. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, so... This is gonna be a level three. Second. I don't know if I'm gonna use any of my old levels for this world. I might just make a whole swath of levels and I'll upload it. Like, when all of the levels are done, then I'll upload it. But it'll be minimal, like, no checkpoint levels, just so, it just a lot of quick variety. I'm not, like, amazing at making levels, but I do like to take my time with them, but that also leads to many... It, it turns into big productions that take too damn long. So, wait, it's four regular courses and one... One dungeon. Didn't you want the firework level to be the bonus? I might have changed my mind. Four regular, one final. Could just do the baseball one up here if I wanted to. Hey chat, check this out. Three lives! Changing the level to an enemy forces you into a... Wait, really? That's cool. Yeah, I want to do, like, a Mario 3-style, um, fight. Pro tip, you can beat the levels in one sitting and then upload the world. Clear course and exit. That's good for testing. Someone said lives are still pointless. Why? In order to beat the world in one go, you need the lives, no? You get five more when you get game over. But does that restart the world? No. Okay, well that- that's dumb. It's Mario World style, not Mario 3. Lose a checkpoint. You just lose checkpoints. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Well... That would have been a nice option to have, at least. Alright, whatever. Um... Chat, does anyone know where I could find Ross's world? You can now play Super Worlds. Okay, hang on, I'll, I'll check out Ross's world in a bit. Let me see what's going on with these Super Worlds. Super Leo is back. Super Toad World. Um, they all have different likes. Super Screwy World. Let's do one a one world thing. Super OG Julian World. It has 7,000 likes. Over 7,000 likes. It's just one world, one course. Of course, to test out 
this amazing new editor, I check out this level. Defeating the purpose entirely. Kaizo, you have to know advanced tricks. Well, this one looks kind of cool. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. And then watch, in a minute I'm gonna have to do a Super Kaizo trick with a blue shell. That doesn't even exist in this game, oh fuck. This is... more than just reminiscent of Mario 3, this is almost the level itself. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is, like, really... The desert world in Mario 3 had shit like this, too. Cool. It's like a greatest hits. Vinny, this needs secret exits. Uh, Mario 3D Maker in 2024 will have secret exits. And an optional live system that can function the way you want it to. Yeah, only four years from now, that's it. Switch 2 will be out by then. Yeah, it'll be 2 Switch. Vinny, I didn't know you worked at Nintendo. Oh, I, I have an uncle that works at Nintendo. Uncle Miyamoto. What can I do with that? Nothing. Please! Please kill me! It's like, alright, Mushroom Starhead. Whatever you say. See, this is good, too, because then people can recommend worlds that they think I would like, and I could just play a whole-ass Mario game. You know, even if it's just a couple levels, it's two worlds, three worlds, whatever. I could just knock out some Mario streaming in one stream. So, yeah, there's a couple things I would have liked from the world creator, but this is still pretty damn good. We still didn't even see the other power-ups.
I want to see Mario turn into a balloon. Just the balloon hands. Is this Goo Goo? Yep, it's him, Goo Goo. Good level. Really enjoyed that. Again, it's really nice to have, um, lots of, like, classic-style levels, and not just Kaizo, or, like, gimmick levels. Maybe, uh, this world... thing... shit. Will help these- sorry, I'm just plugging my phone in. Maybe this world... creation... will lead to more levels that I like, and less music levels, which are fine. I'm not into them. I like to do one music level per ten regular levels. Boy, I'm bad at that. Kill me, please! had no face. Okay, so we're mixing up styles, too. That's another thing I didn't even consider at first, was that you can have a level of every kind of style in your world. Vinny, doesn't this just make you want an HD remake of the original Mario games? Um, in addition to this? Yeah, sure. But... The games have aged so well. Like, I can just, you know, go into the virtual console and play Mario World, and it, it looks good, it plays great. I don't think we need HD. I mean, widescreen would be nice, maybe, but there's hacks for that on the computer. You didn't hear that from me, though. No, I think... Any rumors, like, this is a really good addition to Mario's 35th anniversary. But, I think any rumors we've heard about- Ooh! Any rumors we've heard about 3D Mario games getting released on the Switch? Or possibly getting HD, um, updates of some kind? Those rumors are infinitely more exciting to me, because I can play Mario World on the Switch right now, and it's still good. So, fuck. You know what's cool about Mario as a series? The more you suck, the harder it gets. But if you can retain your, um, your power-up... Like, if you're good, it stays a little easy. Chat, we didn't even start playing Final Fantasy VII yet, and you're already in the zone of misinterpreting every single thing I say into something spicy. And it's not, it's not, it's really not meant... The, okay. The more bad you are at this game, the more difficult it gets.
so... I want to make a Mario 2 style level at some point too, using the Mario 2 sprite. But that also means that there's no vegetables. So I'm a little pissed about that. All I have to do is add a vegetable. Notice we got this big update and I'm still complaining about stuff we didn't get. It's very me. Oh, oh! Okay. But yeah, I mean, regardless, the Mario 2 thing, it's not a full style, but it's a nice addition. But I think if there was just one vegetable, like if you could just add a vegetable to your level, <laughs> that would be like a hundred percent cooler. Just one. One turnip, whatever. Okay, that was another short concise water level. can appreciate water levels like that. Have you decided on which emote you're going to add? No. Now, there have been a couple submissions and some thoughts about, like, adding moggers, but I'm not sure. Mog champ. What's your least favorite part of the update? Uh... I don't know, I haven't seen all of it yet. Ask me again in, an in another day or two, or another STREAM OR TWO! I'm thinking... The stuff I like the most... ...are the new power-ups. Um, I have to see how Mecha Koopas are. Maybe they'll be cool. And, uh, I want to check out... ...the Koopalings, and I want to also check out, like I said, Mario 2, see how... ...you know, in-depth that is. Probably not that in-depth, just pick up a couple enemies. Laser Mecha Coopers are really fun. Yeah, they're basically... They're, they're fucking Nova Skeletons from Symphony of the Night. My least favorite enemy of all time. How could they not be amazing? No Koopa! No Bowser! Vinny, how did you miss the other coin? I-I don't know. Mario World Patch. Cool, you even get like a little ending. That was good. I like that world.
So, uh, Ross's level. How do I find Ross's level? Does anyone have a code? Alex, the code! Where's the code, Alex? Alex? Please! His profile. I don't know how to find his profile. Someone said, I hate that bit so much. How dare you. Um, looking on Twitter, I don't see it. Let's see. Press plus. People are just posting random codes in the chat now. And I don't trust any of them. Detailed search. Uh, search. One of the codes is... Oh, gnomed! Thanks for the code. I'll see if Nari's not joking or japing. I'll type it in. Coin shorts. Dorderoys. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. I saw a better outfit. <laughs> My god, please. Buoyant. That's... Fidgety just looks like... on the verge of... I am fed up with this world. Four oh five zero five two. Um, WSF. Yeah, Tommy Wazo keeps posting pictures of. Animal Crossing. There we go. On his Twitter. And I just don't think he has Animal Crossing. I don't think he plays Animal Crossing. I just don't believe it. Dinosaur Laser Fight. Vinny, you were in one? What do you mean I was in one? Oh, fuck. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Before we do this... Tommy Wiseau. You were in one. It was from a stream?
no, this isn't my character. <laughs> I mean, it kind of, I wear the duck mask. And people, no one cared who I was until I put on the duck mask, but that's not me. No, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. Okay, continuing on. Oh, wow. You can do a lot with these little bastards, huh? Please! Put a purple drink! Ah, oh, fuck. God, these things frighten me. They're very frightening. Did I fuck this up? Did I? No, I didn't. Oof. Oh, get out of here. I, whatever, I won. Good test. Yeah, those things are cool. <clears throat> um, I want to check out the Mario 2 stuff. Maybe someone already made a Mario 2 map? Maybe not. I haven't checked the leaderboards in so long, too. I haven't played this in about five months. Someone um, in chat posted some very interesting bait, and I, I, I want to read it out loud because it's hilarious. Um, Vinny, how do you like Nintendo but hate anime? That is an excellent... Excellent. Uh, association you made there. That's that's really good. I don't, uh, you know, I don't get it, but I'm sure someone does. What's the answer? The answer is I don't hate anime. Um, is the is the detailed answer. I just don't watch it. Difference. <laughs> See if I could do a detailed search. Nintendo Switch games? Hang on a minute, what the hell is this? Have I played this? Oh wait, this is within the past 30 days, I don't think I've played this. Breath of the Wild. You only need one game. You just need Mario Maker. Every other game is within Mario Maker. Sorry. Yeah, 
Yeah. Vinny, I tagged you with um, a Mario 2 level. Cool. I was gonna make my own, but I got bored. So I'm gonna just play someone else's. <laughs> a Splatoon. <laughs> Vimo. Very good level. Good comedic. Smash Bros. I like good comedics. This is a good one. You know who's a good comedic? Joe Piscopo. Alright, so let me tell you about this time Bowser's airship crashed. Right? Thousands dead. So Bowser turns his attention to Kamek and says, you know, what are we going to do about this? And Kamek says, hey, I'm walking here. Annoyed Riker face. The comedic styling stylings of Joe Piscopo chat. You just, you just got him. Good, good Poke Battle. Very good. <laughs> really? I don't remember being in a boot in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. Gotta shake every tree, get every item. Cool furniture. Is there a caterpillar villager? No bugs. Yeah, we should have Insect Crossing next. That would be a good spin-off. That would be a mobile spin-off. Oh god. You know what? I take back what I just said. We don't need any more mobile games. Not... No. Last time we got a mobile game from, uh... Nintendo... It was a worse Mario Kart. So maybe we don't need that. That's just my opinion. So, we have, um, from Luigi Man 64 <laughs> we have an attempt to recreate the first level of Super Mario Bros. 2 to fit somewhat well into Super Mario Bros. 1. Vinny, can you tell us about your world-famous meatball recipe? I don't think it's world-famous. They weren't even that good, but... There's a stream where I definitely gave the recipe. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, you're... 
I'm glad this piece of music is at least in the game. It deserves it. Are there any other Super Mario Bros. 2 tracks or no? There's a couple and there's a boss theme. Awesome. This is a pretty good remake. This does what it do. Should have been a turtle shell in there. Hey, I'm paying close attention to where that turtle shell should have been. There it is. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, it doesn't feel 100% like Mario 2, but I guess it was never supposed to. It's, it's close enough, though. I'm happy this music is in. Oh, uh, shit, the shortcut. I've corrupted this game so many fucking hundreds of times. Oh, you can do constipation jump! Wait a minute, this isn't Doki Doki Panic, what is this? Aw, oh, shit. Alright, screw that. Immersion ruined. Let's hope there's another mushroom. Yeah. And any no no Birdo? Uh no Birdo. Oh, it's Wendy. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't know if we needed the fireballs. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we're good. No, it's fine. It's fine. Immersion ruined again, but that's okay. Slot machine. I can't believe Cutie Pie Koopa is in this game. Have you ever heard Cutie Pie Koopa sing? From the Mario Brothers TV show? Oh man. Oh man, I'm gonna put one of those songs on. You're gonna love it. Speed run with a turtle. Oh, um... Vinny, got your song right here. This better be a Cutie Pie Koopa song. Thank you, it is. You know, I'm good. On second thought, we don't need to hear that. Check out Course Maker real quick. I want to see some of the other, um... We're not going to get to see everything today, but... I'm going to try to... Three, two, one. 
just check out a couple other power-ups. There it is. What is this? This is so different than it usually is. It's cool. This is so much better. As much as the P um, balloon is cool in Mario World, this is actually, I think this is better. This is going to make for some fun courses. Yeah, that's great. It's not locked to a timer either. Why'd you link that? I don't want any more Cutie Pie Koopa. We're good. We are good. This is the best level I've ever made. Oh, fuck. So, wait, this thing- oh, right, it, yeah, you can fly a little bit, right? I forgot about that. Man, game design is something of a passion of mine, as you can tell. Oh, you can cling to walls, you have, um... See, I forgot, I, I don't remember. This was in New Super Mario Bros. U? Yeah, spin jump gives you extra height. And into, into your, into your demise, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's good. And this game... This got a lot of new shit, too. Not gonna really be able to utilize it correctly, but... Show it off a bit. They don't stack, right? No. So, for this one, there's a bunch of new things. There's the boomerang flower, which is cool. There's also... ...some hats, helmets, block helmets. It's quite a few. Oh, 
How do I get this off of me? You have to hit your head? Oh. The cannon one's probably my favorite. Okay, this has a limited flight time. Just me. Just a goomber. Oh fuck, my secret has been revealed. I'm actually a turtle. Funny meme man in chat says, I need your help. You see, I own a YouTube channel, gets a lot of hate. And though I thought making my channel a meme would make things better, but that didn't happen. Can you give me some advice on how to make things better? Well, my channel is funny memes without being called funny meme man. I'm gonna say start with the name and then work on figuring out what kind of memeless content you might be able to make. See if you can- see if you can do it without the memes. And if you can... You might lose subscribers anyway, but... It's worth a shot. I wish you luck, funny meme man. I do. I know shit's hard. Yeah, as long as you don't post clunge, you should be all right. Try one final thing. So, Koopa Kids, I'm gonna do battles with them next time. We'll check out the differences between each of them. But... Are the Mecha Koopas in this game mode, too? Yeah, they are. They are. I was really wondering what, what these lads are like. There's red, there's the blue variant. That's what you have to do, right? That. So regular style laser. I, they're so they're so fucking Nova skeletons. It's not even funny. I love it. And and the red ones shoot bullets. Oh cool. Big sprites. But we knew that. Can't lift these ones. They're too big. Great new addition to the game. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, not a whole lot got done, but next time I'm gonna work on more world stuff, and I'll check out the rest of the stuff, including uh, Koopa Kids, and um, yeah, great update. A couple minor complaints, but I really like this update so far. And uh, I'll try to play more levels too, as this happens, and as people make new uh, 
courses with the new mechanics, I would imagine some of the new levels would be kind of cool. So, yeah, if you missed it, I was making a world earlier. So I'm going to try to finish that world to upload so everyone can play and make fun of. But uh, thank you for watching Mario Maker 2. This is, this is cool. It's nice to get something, a free substantial update like that. Uh, Animal Crossing just updated for tomorrow, so I'll be streaming that tomorrow too. And uh, let's let's take a quick break and we'll do some Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're, it's going to be side quests. You like side quests, don't you? Stick around. Be right back. <laughs>